Hello and welcome back to SoulStream LP, of course, Game Operator and Narrator Souls. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Where are we sitting right now since we last left off? We are rebuilding our fourth fleet with an Artemis Battlestar and getting some frigates going. We also have a mission that is available here that we probably want to get to in the next three turns. And we actually have an upgrade for Fleet 35's officer. Mr. Merritt, I'm going to give you a promotion. Now, we have two choices here. We can do 60% subsystem repair rate for the flagship only, which is probably beneficial, seeing as how was the last fight we got locked out immediately. Um, so having an increase in our repair rate for our subsystems would be beneficial. As well as engineering subsystem strength, which is great, actually. It's it's mm. uh, outside of CIC. I think engineering is probably one of the better ones, aside from, say, armory for... Weapon accuracy and volleys and whatnot. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to take Grease Monkey and increase our subsystem rate, repair rate by 60%. And hopefully that should combat any sort of uh, locker we get in the future. Of course, naturally, moving forward, what we should probably do is the next time we get bricked up like that, uh, we start repairing subsystems immediately and probably switch from an offensive to a defensive stance to give ourselves the best chance possible. Uh, now, as far as 21 goes, we are still resting our jump drives, or else it's going to cost us 220 tillium to get here. So we're going to let this turn slide on by. One of our allies is being attacked. Oh, and we have a mission here. So the question is, do we jump here, grab this one, and then jump over here, grab this mission? Which is probably going to be an idea. At the same time, too, we have another... Cylon fleet in system. They're at Palace, which is nothing really to us. Uh, it's going to cost us 270 Tillium to jump. And this is going to cost us 140. Hmm. Big, big questions. Now this blue... We've got a top priority mission, Commander. From the President himself. Engineers on Aquaria have finished work on some Cylon Tracker software, and we need to get it onto a live target. So this would give us 400 additional Tilium and give the Cylons a 4 um, FTL cooldown turn. Plus 800 experience. We also need a Raptor for it, which you already have loaded up. But as far as the mission goes... Sir, one of our agents on Sagittarian has uncovered an SDU plan to attack the Intercolonial Courts on Libran. They're planning to attack the courts while Admiral Kane is swearing in, before her testimony about the fight with the Sagittarian militia. Marcus Thune, an officer of the Sagittarian Democratic Union, will be leading the SDU's atmospheric entry personally. We've estimated their insertion point, and the Librans have scrambled domestic Air Force patrols. Kane doesn't want the Sagittarians to even taste atmosphere. Our mission is to intercept their FTL landing point and eliminate all resistance. So this one is going to be, again, another blue-on-blue. Blue. Colonist versus colonist. Or colonial versus colonial. Um, in order to maximize what we can get, I think what we'll do is we'll jump the fleet over to Alphon, attempt this blue mission, and then come back and do the main, main story mission. As far as this random fleet in the background, we're probably not going to focus too much on them. But there is... Another fleet or another mission option right in Helios Alpha, which is overrun at the moment. While we're trying to build the fourth fleet for. Hmm. Who's this one, Nabus? Unsurprisingly, Sherman Cottle contacted us as soon as Kane left Daedalus for Libran. He left us this message Agathon, I know you'll get this into the right hands. Sagittarion is a dump, but the people here need our help, whether they'll admit it or not. I'll get straight to the point. I need medicine, and I need the data on those chemical warheads you promised me. Without those, I got nothing to work with down here. Sometime before the attack on PyCon, we also lost a backwater shipping hub over Persephone. Among other things, the Medical Corps had a decent supply of field kits stored there. 
We weren't getting the station back once HQ was leveled, so we wrote the whole inventory off and moved on. If you can liberate those field kits, we know some Cancerian smugglers who can get them through the embargo border. I know how this sounds. Just do the right thing for these root-sucking rock farmers, all right? Okay, let's say we ignore that he's getting friendly with smugglers and lords know who else down there. All Coddle is asking is for us to clear the Cylons from the Persephone station and secure medical supplies for injured civilians. That's reasonable, right? We can work with that. So that mission too is also going to require raptors. Hmm. And Fleet 35. And they don't have the fleet points, but they do require more experience. We could jump them here and then next turn get them into Persephone. And that would be a whole lot of Tilium and uh, requisition points. Let's burn it now. Fleet group is ready to jump. Uh, next turn is going to be even more expensive, but we'll see what we can do. Detected a Cylon escort fleet, sir. All right, let's proceed our mission. Let's see how difficult this one's going to be. Should be fine, right? Fingers crossed. <laughs> That'll be fine. Maybe we'll get some more information on some more Phobos. See what their specialties are. Nothing wrong with a little more intel. Especially as, long, as soon as we get as much intel as possible going into mid and late game. Lord knows we are going to need all of the RP we can get. Especially when we get to our bigger ships. Alright, so we do have a Raptor. We got four ships there. I'm expecting there's probably going to be a little bit more for reinforcements coming in. We'll move the Celestra to this side. The Artemis right on here and then we move our battle lines as required one raptor already in the field which is perfect all right here we go are hostile and the satellite network is online. Let's get to work, Commander. Alright, so what do we need? Board the Cylon flagship. That's the flagship. And we're going to have to go ahead and start dealing and wheeling and dealing with our host of friends. Good news, everyone else is actually below us already. We'll launch Vipers and we'll keep our uh, Raptor Squadron yes, sir. back just in case there's actually enemy squadrons in the air. How do we want to do everyone else? Um, Understood. We'll get the Celestra there. Go right on over to the Battlestar. Gonna add some plates on the left side. We might want to do some on the top as well. We'll do one turn of left plating. All right, Manticore. Get you turned, and let's get a dr uh, your Dratus right up to the roof. Let's get some eyes on. One nemesis, one Talon. 
Oh, shoot. I was thinking we were going to be dealing with something a little bit more aggressive than just what's here. I'm expecting a third Talon. But not a third Talon, a third Nemesis. All right, Vipers, do your thing. Squadron target is confirmed. Knock that guy out of the air. Artemis. Yes, sir. Get you turned. And we're not going to focus fire on the capital. But we still will, we will start targeting these nemesis. Right off the bat. Yes, sir. And we'll actually get munitions out on that other one. There we go. Everybody gets attack up. Manticore, let's get that guy primaried as well for munitions. Get you turning and burning. So say we all. We'll keep the Celestra close just in case. Yep, three nemesis. Uh, what are the chances? We're probably not going to be able to intercept any sort of incoming fire here. Let's launch the Raptor. No flak for this turn. Missiles out on that boy right there. All right, let's get this firing line assembled. Yes, sir. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Everybody's going for the Manticore. Perfect. Alright, squadrons are down. Vipers. Actually, I wonder if you can. You're actually in a position to do this. Let's see if we can catch these group of missiles. Raptor! Board that ship, please. I don't want to turn the yard miss around. Nope, maintain firing line. The system works, so we'll stick with it. They're all focusing him. Perfect. Artemis, you are focusing, focusing that guy. Uh, let's cancel that target and focus this guy. Yes, sir. Oh, boost your thrusters. Get some space. Alright, one nemesis down. We gonna get two? We did not. Artemis, what subsystem is being hacked here? Nothing yet, the firewall's still up. Smack the crap out of both of those guys. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, get the Celestis turn actually to the inside to be defended. Manticore can get some navigation repair going. Yes, 
Yes, Commander. I would very much like it if everyone didn't focus the talent until the network was secured. Uh, how do we do that? Raptor's boarded. We have to destroy everyone to secure the network. I don't know if this is the right way to do it. Maybe? We're gonna find out! Yes, sir. Alright, firing line turn. Focus that nemesis. Vipers! Get on him. Artemis, how's your armor holding? Good so far. Alright, so how do we secure the network? We capture points? Is that what's going on? Hmm. We've boarded the Talon. And nothing to disarm. We're already boarded. Don't want to recall. Well, actually, we are boarded. I don't know. As far as I know, we gotta shoot him. See if the uh, raptors can move to the specific targets. Defend. That's a negative. All right. Then I guess everyone just needs to turn and burn. Yes, sir. And they've got no armor left. Perfect. Hold on a second. Let's get our firing line sorted before we start having collisions. I probably should have recalled my raptors. Hostile marks are down, and the network is secured. It's all good. <laughs> Whoops. We're not going to talk about the raptor squadron left on top of Talon.
All right. On to the next one. That should be very minimum repair, I think, mostly for the Manticore. And that one Squadron of Raptors. <laughs> uh, 30 Telium. Okay, we'll repair that. Done and done. And you guys, you need to jump at 340. Oh, it's going to hurt. I could wait this out, because it is just missions. Actually, that's probably what I'm going to do. New adamant has been deployed. Okay, so we got some of the fourth fleet coming out now. After those guys over. What do I need? What would be good enough? There's an adamant coming off the line. I think one more Berserk for now will probably be what we need. Fleet 50. Let's check our officers. See who's available. Uh, Marine. Armory. Uh, not good. Tech Bay. Also not good. If the hull points is nice, but... Uh, going to be commanding a battle star. There's absolutely no need for increased radius range. Ah, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll have to wait. Detected a Cylon strike fleet, sir. Transfer you over 2950. So that leaves us with 1050 points to play with. And that's 1100 but you actually do need a support ship as well get that built two hundred tilium two twenty detected a cylon strike fleet sir oh they're stacking up this is not great an anti-Caprican alternative news team is broadcasting their live feed after bumbling into a known cylon patrol Given the option, Kane would rather leave them out there. Otherwise, I might be able to wrangle a counter story if you can find me an officer who isn't shy of a few cameras. Eh, that's not worth it. That's not worth it at all. All right, 140 Tillium. Go ahead and jump over this mission. And medical supplies should be 140, 130. You betcha. Let's jump you right on over here, too. All right. Next turn is going to be busy. Let's get it. I don't think a raptor is required for this mission. Go ahead and swap them out for Mark II Vipers. Oh, where is everybody? Oh, this mission is going to be Elephant Walk. Blue on blue. Here we go. This is going to be terrible. Prepare to jump in three. Two, one. No Dreadus contact at Mark, and Libran channels are quiet. The SDU aren't here yet, sir. I've marked the militia's expected landing point. We've earned some time to prepare an ambush, Commander. Somehow, I don't think we're going to be fast enough to get to a point for ambush. Okay. The squadron's out. Let's just be nice and easy.
Nothing's dropping in yet. Uh, Celestra, let's get armor plating on the Artemis here. Let's do left side. Launching drones. Just to get that going. Kane's being grilled about the engagement at Sagittaron. Did they expect us not to defend ourselves? We were there to help them. I'm sure the families of the Sagittarians killed are grateful for your help. They attacked Colonial Fleet ships while Cylons were present. One enemy looks the same as another on the battlefield. To the SDU, we're no different than the Cylons. Right. Understood. All right, keep flying. Nothing coming in yet. Hi, everybody. Oh, that's a lot of ships. Dratus contact. SDU units confirmed. We meet again, Commander. You think you could shield Lucinda Kane as she propagates the lies about her attack on Sagittarian? Come, sisters and brothers. This is our time to shatter the alliance of Capricorn tyranny. Sherman Cottle was right. We're fighting the Cylon's rebellion for them. Okay, so what have we got? Two Manticores. What are that? Rangers? Okay, there's missile ships. And about three others. Four others I don't see. Manticore. Pop that max range if you would. I don't know which way to turn. Probably this way, if anything. Artemis, hard, hard right. Uh, I would love to get flak up. Ooh. Question is, do we have time? Fine tune that just a little bit. Celestra could turn away immediately. <laughs> um Who's a bigger threat? Do we want to smack the Manticores immediately? Or get the Rangers? Understood. You know what? I'm saying Rangers. The Vipers out and actually get them focusing on the Maticors. Squadron target is confirmed. Swarm that dude. Artemis, focus fire on that guy. Same with you guys. Elements. Let's get the munitions out. Same with the Artemis. Oops. Oops, that's the wrong button. Understood. Hopefully they don't lock on and fire first turn. But we're gonna find out here. I'd very much like it if they don't. Uh, and they do. Missiles incoming. That looks like a whole bunch of torpedoes coming in. Well, that's good. Everybody's packing torpedoes. So 
So what is that? Three Manticores, four Manticores, two Rangers, three Adamants. The item is turning. Look at our firing line set up proper. Let us take all of our ships, cancel target, and focus fire on. first. You're going to be getting a broadside. Yes, sir. This ranger will continue to take fire, and that's fine. Fighter squadron is taking fire. We're taking the same fire. One down. All right, Vipers, get to work. Work, work, work. Uh, it's time to shotgun this Ranger. Get flack out, right left side. These guys will take. These guys will be fine and be little hits. No worries. Vipers. Clear the skies. Priority one him. There we go. Uh, let's hit it. Adamant is taking damage. We're gonna hammer the fractures so they can't get back up. Oh, that's a full volley of torpedoes from that one ranger. That sucks. All right, now we're gonna have us a little bit of problem. Wipers are scrumming it. I would dare say we're probably fine without I'm worrying too much about those guys. Select that adamant. Yes, Commander. I want that Ranger. I want everybody on the Ranger. How are we gonna How are we gonna unjam this? That's we'll have to rise up. Okay. Okay, this is an absolute mess. You guys, where the hell are you? Right here. That was causing that confusion. We gotta get these guys turned anyways, because their armor is shaken. Adamant's got to turn as well. Good way to turn. Understood. Uh, 
spun. I'll cancel flak and switch that to the O side. We'll just use munitions. Fire on the Ranger. I need you to deploy plating to this adamant on the left side. Launching drones. Adamant is taking damage. Get out of here, they're turned. Friendly unit is dead. Nope. Wasn't enough. Stratus contact. Unless they found themselves an abandoned battle star, I don't think it belongs to the SDU. Humans killing humans. This is unexpected. A Cylon voice modulator. Sophisticated tool. Most likely transmitting from the bridge of a base star. Commander, the bogey has the drop on the fleet group's position. Whoever it is, they've left their broadcast channel open. All right, one adamant down. That's two ships down for them. Uh, Vipers. Ranger. Yes, sir. Guys, I'll run you a little further out. Focus fire on that guy. Full attack. I just need these two guys right here. Same thing. You guys are going to get primaried. Take him down quick. Alright, that's how we sit for armor. Left side is taking a beating. That's fine. Understandable. attack. Get those guns singing. As far as the Celestra goes, I guess we deploy some metal plating here onto the top of the Artemis. There we go. All right. Fire. It becomes evident that you are nothing more than Kane's knife bearer, Commander. Ever eager to act outside the legalities of warfare. We are Colonial Fleet. We represent the highest military authority of the collected colonies. Yet here you are, supervising the murder of Sagittarian civilians. The executioner's face is always well hidden. Admiral Kane understands what is required for her continued survival. Do you? Working on a lady. All right, so that's two down. Vipers, absolutely. Understood. As far as the Artemis goes, left is still good. E ish. Right is better. Our remaining adamants, left and right, is gone on you. Oh, she's going to get you to turn away. Yes, sir. Berserks. Directly onto that guy. Lustra. I need plating on this adamant. Either or, give me a left. And as far as the Artemis goes...
cancel the flak. Put it on the left side again. Focus that adamant. Here we go, fingers crossed. Let's see if we get that uh, turn in time. Someone in time? That's not going to be in time. I need you to turn this way. Yes, Commander. Just a little bit. Keep the Artemis engaging those guys. Berserk's turn. And engage that last Manticore. Uh, Vipers won't react in time. Fingers crossed we don't lose two Adamants in this mission. But we probably will. Adamant is taking damage. Yep. Just didn't turn in time. I do not like showing up right next to people. It makes me a little nervous. Well, that's no excuse. Two Adamants down. That sucks. That's going to be a hot minute to repair that. Your left side is done. Lustra. The reactive plating on the left side. One down. There'll be two down here shortly. Keep the flak field up. Understood. That's not great. Understood. Not the worst, but it's not great. Come on, hit her. Cancel the flak, get all the guns going. Come on. are down and the silent broadcaster is no longer in range fleet group set to condition two surely this proves we're not the bad guys here lucinda is resourceful she'll come out of the hearings in a better position than when she went in gods i hope so we can't have anyone thinking that we could work with the cylons well replay incoming
You know, the whole point of an ambush is not to get into a knife fight with a bunch of torpedo launchers. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Ouch! Okay, that's two adamants down. Ah, so we got, we did unlock a Janus and the armor piercer rounds, or ammunition, so that's something. We're also going to go ahead and we will hit this next mission. Ooh, hopefully it's a little bit easier than the other one. We'll find out. We're going to be in for some repairs. That's two fleets. Eh, is what it is. Got to push if you want that money. You got to push if you want that RP. All right, what do we got? That's a little spaced out. And this does require the use of a Raptor, which we do have. I'm pretty sure we're... Probably going to wind up having to defend the station against the Cylons. So in reality, we could probably leave the fleet set up as is. We could just make some adjustments as soon as we start moving. Raptors in. Mark twos for everybody. You bet. Let's jump them in. Fleet group is jumping in. Three, two, one. Jump complete. There's hostile marks all over the station, just like Cottle said there'd be. No wonder the Quorum is questioning Colonial Fleet's integrity. As soon as Lucinda leaves the station, you both go plotting some absurd heist on the whims of some rogue army medic. We're securing a logistical asset from Cylon forces. Be a team player, Sinan. It's not my loyalty that's being debated at the intercolonial courts. Okay, so I gotta board the shipping hub and then I have to board an arachne to receive a chemical warhead. Oh. Uh, well, I wonder what our enemies are gonna be then. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay, Artemis. Launching raptors. All. All sh squadrons take to the air. Launching alert vipers. How do we want to play this out that's beneficial for everybody? Run long. Run short through there. Yes, sir. Well, let's start by uh, maybe doing a little bit of a long run, or so a run between the station and the enemy. Let's see what we get for Dreadus contacts. Whoop. Let's 
get that group to slow up. Understood. I'll get that group to turn in. Start forming our firing line. Nobody's launching anything. Well, that's good. Uh, board shipping facility. There we go. We're actually going to send you guys out that way. That way. Squadron target is confirmed. That way and that way. Let's see what's going on here and what's available. Get our Vipers headed out. Is confirmed. Try and get that line set up. On it, Commander. So say we all. Let's deploy our plating on the left side. Launching drones. We are slightly below everyone, so that's good. Oh, there's some squadrons. All right, guys. Let's start picking those guys off. Let's start working these guys over, too. On it, Commander. So uh, try and get that line set up properly, gentlemen, shall we? Should be good. Fingers crossed. Raiders. Scorpions. Um, I don't recall what scorpions do. It'll be fine. It'll be all fine. As a side note, it looks like we're probably going to get converged on here pretty quick. And I'm flying straight and steady. Contacts. Marks are confirmed hostile. Boarding party has landed on the station. Not much in the way of resistance, but most of the station has been locked down by the automated systems. It's likely the Corps kept their inventory in the vaults, close to the shipping lanes. Tell your Marines they can use breach charges from the floor below to bypass the vault doors, if necessary. Decided to join in, huh? Just being a team player, apparently. Cool. Okay, so how are we going to swing this? Ha! Ah! <laughs> ha! Oh, we're about to get slammed from both sides here. Okay. Great and proper way to swing this. Let's go ahead and see. Need a hard turn. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Raider squadron snuck through. Vipers are all tore, all wrapped up. 
And Celeste, I need you to drop. Drop and turn in. Get your defense max so we can see exactly who we're fighting. It's going to be one more turn of not doing anything, isn't it? It's going to hurt. Let's start doing some crazy maneuvers here just in case other people have torpedoes. Understood. Something like that. That's a lot of torpedoes. Cool. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, it's a couple of arachnids. I'm willing to bet if that's not a couple of nemesis with them, then there's more arachnids. Cool. All right. You probably need to go away. And meanwhile, Raptor Squadron. Go ahead and get you to board. Okay. I need you to turn and run. Focus fire directly onto him. That goes for everyone else here. Uh, Artemis. Some missiles out. Take this guy out right now. All right, here we go. That Celestra's not going to survive this fight. <laughs> okay, then. Yikes. Uh, I did crack that one. Oh, everybody's shooting at her. Everybody's shooting at her. Hydra. That has to go as well. Right armor's done, rear armor's done, top armor's almost done. There's not a whole lot you can do, is there? My Vipers, where are they? They still engaging everything? Somewhat. Squadron target is confirmed. Let's get the skies clear, shall we? On the bright side, we are going right between two groups here, so all of our guns will be singing. The downside is, is that uh, we're going to be hit from both sides here. We're about to lose our wonderful, wonderful repair ship. Hit you. All right, full DPS out. Missiles incoming. Celestra is taking damage. We've lost the Celestra, sir. Yep, there was just too much incoming fire. Marines have samples from the Cylon warheads. All marks are cleared for elimination. 
On the bright side, support ship is the only thing that's gone, so that's not too bad. Downside is we're across the map, so restocking that ship is going to be a pain. Another bright side. All our samples are in. We get to kill everybody. Let's do it. Raptors, recall. Vipers. Still closing to engage them, that's fine. Sink that Hydra. One more turn for munitions. That's fine. Let's do it. It's alright. It's on the left side. That's armored. Not on that berserk. All right, is the sky clear? Looks like it. Defend the fleet. This is going to get hairy. I already can't do anything about that uh, missing armor. On it, Commander. So say we all. Oops. Yes, sir. Uh, focus targets. You bet. Lose a berserk here. Just a gunfire. Down. Yep. Now walk up the center, he says. Because it'll be easy, he says. Yikes. What a silly idea that was. The bright side is just Talons. One Arachne. And it looks like two Nemesis left. everybody else sitting. Decent. Vipers. Yes, sir. Move out and engage that guy. And you guys. Focus him and then focus that arachne. Blackout on the right side. He's going to do anything. Missiles. Should be fine. Get work done on him. Oh, no, no. Which ship is going to collide? Why is it not showing up? Yes, Commander. All right. How's that Arachne looking? Nemesis down, Arachne's getting work on this berserk. Left side is in trouble. Not to worry, we got an Artemis in between. That dude back there is just lobbing missiles. What the heck? Blackout on the right side. 
focus you down. All right, focus fire on that arachne. Same with you guys, turn and focus fire. Try and dry them, draw them off the left side of that, uh, that berserk. Berserk is taking damage. We've been for a word. Firing on target. Turn berserk. He's got no armor left. All right, Flack is intercepting those missiles. Left and right, you're... Yeah, you're both empty. I'll try and keep you at range. I'll have you guys swing back the other way. Artemis will die for one more. We'll try and eat up the rest of these missiles with the flak. Missiles incoming. Is damage. Come on! That's another Berserk down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah, lose the healer and away you go. Yeah, those missiles just decided to go off on random. I'm on the bed they're going for that Berserk that we just lost. Alright, Artemis. Cancel Flack. Get the big boy guns up. Say we all. Wipers are in it too. Come on, get him. Those big artillery guns singing. Understood. And we got more missiles out. Adamant is taking damage. Oh, we're gonna have some repair bills this time. Vipers are on them already. So say we all. Come on, turn. Didn't turn enough. The raid teams have secured both the warhead samples and the field kits. I'll have the Raptor Squadron get ready to make the dead drop with the cancerings. So no one is going to talk about the doctor's recent choice of friends. I trust Coddle's judgment to do the right thing, just like I trust yours. I'm sure we wouldn't approve of all of your past clients either. It's your judgment that we rely on, not your history. Well, we are getting punched in the face. There's no doubt about that one. That's two missions where we suddenly got jumped. Well, one, we were supposed to be the ambusher. <laughs> and suddenly everyone had torpedoes. And this one, we had uh, ships jump on us from both sides. This is wonderful. Replay incoming. Nominal. RCS green. I'm good to go. 
Station one throughout the ship. All right. Well, we certainly have the uh, resources now to go ahead and rebuild. I think we're going to have to do a recall. <laughs> uh, immediately repair the fleet. Same with you. Repair. And let's go ahead and get our promotion, shall we? Fleet cap. I will take it. Same thing there. Hey, let's get engineering subsystem strength up. Okay. So we got us some movements to play with. And what is that? That's going to be one, two, just to get back here. Oh my goodness. Well, what is the ideal thing to do? You need to get the heck out of there. And as for you, I think you're just missing. Honestly, if I were to break away, if I were to break away. The Tartarus. What am I talking about? You got 7,000 points here. Give me one second. Let's go ahead and look at our blueprints. We got the Genesis Cruiser unlocked. Which isn't really good. Like, she's a, she's an upgraded... Well, I'm saying she's not very good, but she's got three missile slots. And look at this armor. Ooh. Put torpedoes in there. Good gap. Um, but the armaments are not very good. She's got front and bottom. That's it. Uh, 
Now, what else do we get? We do have the Minotaur gunship. Which is a berserk on steroids, just no... No fighters. So technically speaking, we should be able to field two Artemis now in our fleets. Yeah, at least one more Artemis here. And you could do another Artemis with one more Berserk. Let's get uh, let's get down and dirty and fancy, shall we? Obviously, we're building another support ship. Build two more uh, Artemis as well, and then everybody get back to Helios Delta. Yep, we're gonna run the risk of actually abandoning the colonies here for a quick upgrade. The way she goes. Ah, we did get jumped. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, Colonial Fleet is 3,700. Cylon Fleet is 5,900. <sighs> it's going to be a long one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nearly. Look at all that overpowered stuff over there. And I don't have a repair ship, so this is going to suck even more. Is now the time of the great suckening. All right. Here we go. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. All right. Well, obviously, launching fighters. We need all of our fighters. Launching fighters. Everybody in the air. And everybody's way below us. Yes, Commander. We shall start the dive. We max Dreadus range. All right, Vipers. Squadron target is confirmed. Get out there and start doing some work. Try and buy ourselves as much time as possible here. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Oh, that's not good. At least one of those is Celestra, then. If not two. Back, back, back. We don't have the firepower to play that game. But good news, if they are Celestra, or Sarastis, uh, uh, or whatever they are, that's a good thing for us.
Come on, pop Andreas. Give me something to shoot. Just outside Dreadus. On it, Commander. Escort priority one still online. Come on, let me see. Revenant. Eh, uh, sucks. <laughs> okay, let's get on it. Of course, she's under us, which is worse. Munitions, everything out. Tubes prepped. Target is six two five nine nine. Uh, we're gonna lose an Artemis on this one, aren't we? I think we might. There's a Serastis. News out there. Artemis, how's our armor? Not good. Hmm. Wipers are in, though. I need you to turn. Might mean everybody needs to turn. Got one revenant down. There's another one. Damn Serastis. Make it short work of the fighters. Yes, sir. Get everybody to focus fire on that guy. Oh god, do I sacrifice my smaller ships? You get artillery in here, maybe. It's not gonna matter here. Three Revenants. And at least three Serastis. Oof. We got jumped pretty good. Start splitting armor. If she survives the turn. Vipers are still doing work. Uh. 
Uh, yeah, I have to turn away. It's not going to help much because it's going to be surrounded here very shortly. But I have to turn away. Artemis is taking damage. And Artemis down. One squadron down. Yes, sir. Actually, that's an officer down for us too. Yes, sir. Focus that guy right out of the sky. Same with you. You getting work any work done? Somewhat. Uh, one more revenant down there who's untouched. This adamant's losing armor hard. And we got two gunships below us. That's not good. So say we all. They on them. I hate how they do that. Just side drift out of there. Okay. Get rid of that big guy. He's got to go. The gunships are going to tear us up no matter what we do. They are below us. And they are doing work. And we are in the worst spot on a revenant. We are directly above him. Hey, look, there's more revenants. <laughs> oh, God. This fight was not going to be winnable at all. Too heavy of a fighter screen. That's... Yeah, we're down to do just that an adamant and berserk now. Oh good, they focused the uh the adamant that was in good shape. Congratulations. Yep. Worst spot to be in on a revenant, directly above him. And we can't break through his structure at all. What are the chances you're another revenant? Probably pretty high. <laughs> oh, this was a kill fleet. This was... That was no good. <laughs> this is where the game gets really interesting. <laughs> Replay incoming.
escort priority one is still online. Escort clear zone intact. Priority one is in safe hands. Target is six two by nine nine. Well, that was rough. <laughs> oh, two rough fights and then that. Holy cow. Okay, well, that's where we're going to end this one, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you like what you saw here, if you saw, if you enjoyed me getting my the crap kicked out of me for three missions and a, uh, an ambush, hey, you know, by all means, hit that like button. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to support the channel at all, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button, drop a comment on down below. In the meantime, stay warm, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next episode.